let's get really deep talking about customer avatars today because we're going to talk about the values that our customer avatar holds. Welcome to day four of our customer avatar series. I'm so excited that you're back. If you're brand new, make sure that you uh, head on over. There's a, there's a playlist linked above and you can check out the entirety of the customer avatar series from the beginning and then join us back here for number four. In this series, yes, we have talked a little bit about the emotional side, that intangible, those motivators for our customers. But today we're going to talk about the underlying values in our customer avatar. Basically, you're trying to understand what they're trying to achieve. And this is different than a goal, and this is different than that intangible. It's tied to the intangible. So let's dive deeper. First, we're gonna talk about functional motivation. Then we'll talk about social motivators. And at the end, we'll talk about the emotional push and pull. Roll the intro. Functional motivators are something that we have talked here on the channel about before. Functional motivators are how do you get from point A to point B. In other words, we're talking about completing a task. We've talked about this a lot on the channel because functional motivators, that's a really easy way to think about coaching someone, for example. Getting someone that tangible result that they desire most. That big goal that they're trying to achieve. Whether it's losing weight or hiking a certain distance or lifting a certain amount of weight or investing and achieving a certain amount in your investment account or something like that. How can you help them get from where they are right now with a messy pantry to a fully organized pantry? That's the functional motivator that I want you to think about. So let me know down in the comments what is the functional motivator or functional motivators that your customer avatar has. Let me know, put them down in the comments because I want to see. Next, we're going to talk about social motivators. Social motivators are like status symbols. This is where we're talking about how do we show up in other people's eyes. In other words, it's the guy who gets the fancy sports car because he wants everyone to pay attention to him. Social motivators are all about status. Easy example, people who get into social media marketing without really understanding the fundamentals pay way too much attention to vanity metrics. Likes, comments, shares, that kind of stuff. Numbers that are easy to see. That is what they're ju being judged on. That's what they're judging themselves on. But anyone who knows how to play the game uh, knows that there's way more behind the scenes. There's way more connection that can happen. And that if you play it right, you can make a million dollars off of a YouTube channel that had less than a hundred people on it. Just saying. Easy way to boost your status is to simply hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join us here on the channel. That way you get access to all of the videos in this customer avatar series and you'll also be notified of all of the other series that we are launching coming up. We got some great stuff planned for you and I don't want you to miss it. The third motivator we have to talk about is emotion. Emotional motivators are like, where do people go to get relaxation. What is it that people do in order to feel better, to seek pleasure? Those are our emotional motivators. For example, if you go and you enjoy a leisurely Sunday drive, that is an emotional motivator. So if you're a podcaster and you've recognized that that is one of the motivators for your customer avatar, then you're clearly going to be creating content that they can begin to consume on those leisurely drives. Or maybe you like to go hiking or you like to go to the gym or something like that. You're spending a fair amount of time consuming longer format content probably based on that behavior. So when we dive deeper and we try Try and understand more about the values, the underlying values that motivate our customers, we begin to get a better connection with them. 
We've covered quite a lot in this series already, and if you want to keep on track, make sure that you download your copy of our customer avatar worksheet. We've got training specifically designed to walk you through each and every section of that workbook page. So head over to the links down below and follow the links in the workbook to head over to our Facebook group where we, uh, we go live on a regular basis. We have those trainings for you and so much more. So until I see you again, my friends, remember, I love you, be excellent to each other, and just go live. Your people are waiting for you.